my name is Valerie and I'm back again with another book I highly recommend. So this book is a very touching and heartfelt book that is mainly about family. Read with Val. Read on, have fun, and dream big. And it is called Far From the Tree and it is by Robin Benway. So this book is a realistic fiction book and I would rate it a 10 out of 10. There are three main characters in this book and every chapter is told by one of those three main characters. The three main characters are Grace, Maya, and Joaquin and I'll tell you their stories in order. So Grace lives with her two parents who adopted her at birth and she has always known that she was adopted and it's never really been a problem for her. However, when she gets pregnant at 16 with a guy named Max, um, she, she is heartbroken but has to put her baby up for adoption because she can't support her. But she constantly thinks about the baby whose name is Millie and loves her very much still. And she wants to know now who is her biological mother and why did she put Grace up for adoption? Was it because she was forced to or she just didn't want um, Grace? And Grace becomes more intrigued by that. So our next main character is Maya. And Maya lives with her uh, two parents who also adopted her at birth. Um, and her younger sister, Lauren. Like Grace, Maya has always known that she was adopted because she is a brunette in a family of redheads. So it's pretty obvious and her parents didn't really keep, didn't keep it a secret, um, but didn't emphasize on it or expand on it as well. And our last main character is Joaquin. So Joaquin, unlike the other two uh, main characters, hasn't been adopted and since birth has been going from foster home to foster home which leads to a little bit of a lot of pain um some suffering and he doesn't know if he wants to get adopted by his foster parents now and he isn't sure but from 17 years of going through foster home to foster home um, it's been a ride for him and he hasn't necessarily gotten a chance to call um, people family and the reason these people relate is that Grace's Grace's um, biological sister younger sister is Maya and their biological older brother is Joaquin and this starts when Grace gets intrigued about um, their her biological mother. And instead of giving contact to her biological mother, her parents tell um, Grace that she actually has a younger sister. And Maya and Grace decide to meet up and catch up or try to catch up on um, 14 years of not being together. And it's a lot for both of them and very understandably, they both were a little nervous and a little unsure um, if they would like each other, if the other person would like them, how their relationship is, and is this something that both of them are happy about. Maya and Grace then discover that they also have an older brother named Joaquin and them three meet up, learn more about each other and decide that this is, it, this is something that they want to grow on and they want to grow their relationship on because none of them before have really known anything about their um, biological relatives. And for this um, interaction to happen between the three of them is incredibly life-changing and um, super exciting. Grace wants to find their biological mother because um, Grace and Maya share uh, the same mother and father, but Joaquin only shares the same mother as they do. 
And Gris really wants to find their biological mother, but Joaquin is unsure because, like I said, he's gone through foster home through foster home, and the the like parent after parent have given, I guess, given up on him or not being able to um, adopt him. And he's worried that if they find their mother, what if their mother doesn't like him? And what if their mother also wants to um, turn him down and not accept him and not embrace him? So Joaquin doesn't really want to, and Maya isn't really sure either. And it is a journey where they have to learn together and grow together um, and really build their relationship. And it is such a touching story because all of their um, individual stories are so unique. And when they come together and learn more about each other, it's really something special and something worth reading about. And my favorite character is Grace. The reason being she, I think Joaquin and Maya and has have gone through a lot and they have had their pains and their you know challenges um but grace grace's situation is kind of unique because i like i said before she got pregnant at 16. and people at school once she returns aren't that nice about it like her first day of school um there was a really mean guy and people were teasing her and that one guy like was incredibly mean and people weren't friendly because it's not normal and i don't know instead of feeling maybe um empathetic that she had to put her baby up for adoption or um kind they were just completely like rude and um and hurtful to Grace. And I understand, like, other parents in the book um, from school judge her because, and like, oh, stay away from that girl because she's already gotten pregnant once. And it's really not like that, though. Um, Grace is a very strong uh, girl and has been through so much more than um, another person the same age as her. And I think Grace is just incredibly strong um, and because all of that she's been through and people are still so brutal to her. Um, I just feel sympathy towards her and when reading this book, um, I think you'll really like following her journey and her path to recovering mentally. I'd recommend this book to people uh, 12 or above, and it is such a powerful story and um, a really important one that I think is really um, fun to read about, but also um, meaningful to read about. So I hope everyone enjoys this book as much as I do, and I'll see you guys soon. Remember to read on, have fun, and dream big. Bye!